Another day, another dollar. So goes the saying. Well, that's the end of another month nearly. And uh, I've done okay in my uh, US Constitutional this month. A couple of 40 percenters, a couple of 64s in good nick. One of Denver, one of Philadelphia. It's stunning. Uh, Walker, 1945. And... This one came just today. It's a proof version of a commemorative, I think it's the 250th anniversary of GW, his birth. His home there. Cracker. Half a dozen barbers, no key dates, they're all Philadelphia, nothing special. Five marks, some uh, quite nice Washington quarters. Uh, top line there, all Philadelphia. Bottom two here, Denver. This one's a nice one, 1952 Denver. Pretty good, Nick. Pretty good condition. This one as well, 1925. This was the first year that they fiddled about with the date, isn't it, so that it wouldn't wear down, so you can see the 1925. Can't see an awful lot else, because <laughs> it is worn down. But that's a nice one. These are always so expensive over here, so it was nice to pick that up. I'll pop this one in here. It's a 1947 um, uh, is it quarter Balboa? Half Balboa? Quarter Balboa. 1947. These were all minted in Philadelphia. Effectively it's the same planchet as the, the quarters. Little bag here. The reason I've popped these in here, there's 11 dimes, 5 uh, roses, 3 barbers, 3 marks. No key dates of anything at all, but this cost me 10 quid. So just about pennies under spot. So that was cracking stuff. These two here, 1934s, but this one will fill a missing space in my book. It's a 1934 Denver. It's in okay condition, but it will do until I uh, get any anything better. I'm um, talking of gaps in my uh, book. I uh, ordered just at the weekend a 1931D and a 1945S with a micro S mint mark. That'll fill a couple of spaces as well. So that's coming along. Uh, and the only other things I've got, $4 is 1884. 1884. Oh, I think, yeah. New Orleans. And this is a stunning coin. Really, really nice condition. Some nice mint luster still there. Lovely. And three peace dollars. Really nice condition. This one's a 1922 Philadelphia. Yeah, I know. Ten a penny. You've seen them a million times. 23 Denver, I think this one is. Let me have a shift date. Yeah. Oops. And at least it's silver. <laughs> <laughs> you can tell. So that one's an okay nick. And this one actually came in the capsule and I've not taken it out yet. It's a 1926 Philadelphia. And it's in really, really nice condition as well. So, that's my haul for the month. And my US Constitutional with just a little Panamanian coin thrown in for good measure. So please let me know what you think. I quickly should add this up, shouldn't I? Four, five, six, seven, eight, eight dollars plus a load of cents. So, yeah, it'll not be far off ten dollars face value, which is not a bad month's haul, if you say it quickly. So, please let me know what you think. Uh, your comments, as always, very, very welcome. Good, bad, indifferent. And until the next time, have a good one. Take care.